Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about using data in Gatsby. And this is just going to be like a quick introduction into how we can store some external data about our website and then access that data inside of our pages. So imagine that I wanted to store some information about my site. Maybe I wanted to store like the title of my website and the author of the website. And I wanted to be able to access that information inside of multiple pages on my site. Well, one way I could do that would be to just write out that information in each one of my pages. So I could create a header in each page and put in the site title, right? But here's the problem. If I want to then change that title, I would have to go through to every single page on my site and manually change the title. I'd have to do some sort of like a find replace. And that could be really messy and it could be potentially dangerous if not everything is like spelled the same or whatever. An easier way would just be to store the title of my website inside of a variable somewhere and then have all of my pages fetch that data and use that variable, right? That way, if I wanted to change the title, I would only have to change it in one spot and it would automatically update on all the pages in my site. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do something exactly like that in Gatsby. We want to open up this Gatsby config JavaScript file. And if you don't have this file, it's located at the root directory of your project. So in my case, it's right here in this GA site folder. And if you don't have it, you can just create it. So this is basically like the main settings configuration for our Gatsby app. So in here, you can put all sorts of important things that will help Gatsby to configure itself and to just do what it has to do. So inside of this module.exports function, and or object, you want to add this in. We're going to put a an attribute. It's going to be called site metadata, and this is going to be an object. And inside of this site metadata object, we can put any variables that we want to access about our site. So I could put like title, and we could give our website a title. So we could say like Draft Academy's website. I could also give this something maybe like an author. And we can just say the author's me, Mike. So obviously this is just some very simple data, but I'm storing it about my website. Now what I can do is I can configure each one of my pages to go out and grab this information. And so my pages will be able to display the website title and the website author. And if I ever want to change those, I, I only have to change them in this config file. I don't have to touch the pages that are pulling this data. So I'm going to head over to one of my pages. We'll just go to index.js. This is the home page. And in here, what I want to do is make some simple modifications, which will allow me to grab the data that is coming from this Gatsby config.js file. So the first thing I want to do is add what's called a GraphQL query. And GraphQL is a querying language that was developed by Facebook. And it was designed to be used with React. And basically, you can use GraphQL um, in order to grab information from external sources. In our case, we are grabbing information from this Gatsby config.js file. So GraphQL is a querying language, a lot like SQL. If you've ever used SQL before, we can use GraphQL to write queries to get information. And that's what I'm going to do down here. I'm, I actually have some code that I'm going to paste in here, and then I'm going to explain what it does. So this code that I just pasted in is actually a GraphQL query. And what this is doing is it's going out to that config file and it's grabbing the title and the author. So you can see it's just export const query is equal to GraphQL. And then we have this single quote and then there's another single quote down here. And then we have the query, which is just um, the name of the query up here. And then we want to grab information about the site and the site metadata and the title and the author. So you, what you want to do is just paste this down into your file. So any files that you want to access the site metadata, you want to paste one of these GraphQL queries into there. And as long as you have this GraphQL query in here, we'll actually be able to access the information that's inside the site metadata. So once you have this query inside of your file, you want to come up here and I'm here at this export default and inside of these parentheses, you just want to put two curly brackets and we're just going to type out data. And what this is going to do is it's going to inject the data from this query 
into our JSX. And so now we can actually access the data from the query inside of our JSX code here. So if I wanted to do that, I could just come over here and we could actually print out either the website title or the author. So why don't we do that inside of this header one, instead of saying hello world, why don't we print out the title of the website? So inside of some curly brackets, I'm just going to type out data dot site dot site metadata. And then I want to type out the name of the variable that I want to access, the name of the attribute that I want to access. So it's just going to be title. So if I save this page, and just a quick note, whenever you modify your Gatsby config file, you have to restart your Gatsby development servers. And you can see that the text over here is updated. So now instead of saying hello world, it says draft Academy's website. And I can also access the author. So let's put the author down here in this paragraph, we'll just say, and now we should be able to see the author of the page, which is Mike. So Basically what we did was we stored information about our website, some global variables inside of this config Gatsby file. So we stored a title and an author, and then we were able to access that title and that author by running this GraphQL query. Okay. And then that GraphQL query grabbed the data for us and injected it into our react um, function here. And then we were able to access them, inside of the JSX. So that's sort of the flow of the data. Um, and there's one more thing I want to show you, which is a really cool feature that we can use with Gatsby, which is called graph IQL and graph IQL is something that I have open right here. And the way you access it is by going to localhost 8000 forward slash three underscores and then GraphQL. And you actually don't need this query part right here. And this is a sort of a user interface, a, a GUI for testing out GraphQL queries. So inside of here, you could test out and write different queries that you might be writing. Obviously the query that we wrote over here, this is a pretty simple query, but if you have more complex queries, then you're going to want to be able to test them out. So if I wanted to, I could actually test out a query here. So I could say like, we could test out the query that we're writing on this page. So I could say site and then site metadata. And then inside of here, I could try to access the, the title and the author. And you'll notice what I wrote here is basically just what I have down here. So I'm testing out this query and then I can run it and we'll see what returns back. So without actually putting this inside my website, I can test out the query and make sure that I'm getting the correct data back. So this graphed IQL uh, feature of Gatsby can be really useful for helping you to test out your queries and really just uh, supercharging your workflow. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.